Hi, in this video you will learn the secret behind professional laptop repair and schematic analysis. The secret is the good understanding of the laptop block diagram. So let's get started. So we're gonna study in this video two types of block diagrams. A block diagram for an old computer and another block diagram for an improved computer in order to go deeper into understanding all types of computers. So basically, if you understand just how to analyze one block diagram, you can analyze and study any other laptop schematic block diagram. So we're gonna discuss and study this block diagram and this also. This is basically a block diagram for an enhanced and improved laptop. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see here, basically for this block diagram, it contains all chips and integrated circuits of the laptop motherboard. Okay, so if you understand this block diagram, you can analyze easily and repair and troubleshoot any failure in the motherboard. So as you can see here, we have the CPU. Okay, this is basically the CPU. So as you can see, we have Intel mobile CPU. This is its model, Yuna 478. So, the CPU is connected to this chipset. This is the North Bridge. Okay? This is the North Bridge, as you can see. We have Calistoga. Okay? So, the CPU is connected to the North Bridge via this bus, FSB, as you can see, the front side bus. So, the North Bridge is connected to RAMs, as you can see, to RAM slots. We have here DDR2, as you can see. We have two RAM slots, okay? And of course here, the North Bridge or the GMCH is connected also to the graphic card, as you can see. This is the graphic card, NVIDIA. This numbers basically means you will find the schematic of the graphic card in these pages, in page 46, 48, 51, and 55. So the graphic card, of course, is connected to these ports. As you can see, it controls these ports. The LCD ports in page 13, the CRT ports in page 14, and the TV out also in page 14. Okay, then as you can see, we have the North Bridge is connected directly to the ICH or Input Output Control Hub, as you can see, via DMI or Direct Media Interface. This is its frequency or its speed, 100 megahertz. Okay, so as you can see here in this motherboard, this motherboard basically is an old motherboard where we have the chipsets, as you can see, is separated. Okay, the chipsets is separated. It's not like this one, where we have just one chipset. So all these chipsets are integrated together in just one chipset, as you can see. The CPU or the central processing unit with the GMCH or the graphic and memory control hub plus the ICH or the search bridge. The ICH stands for input output control hub and also the graphic card. So all these four chips are integrated in just one chip as you can see so this is a very enhanced motherboard okay but for this one for example the four chips are separated as you can see we have here the processor and here we have the mch basically this is mch not gmch because we have the graphic card is separated as you can see here we have the graphic card and here we have the ICH, 
Okay, so CPU, MCH, we have graphic card, and we have ICH. So four pins separated. So if we go, for example, for to this motherboard, we have another motherboard where we have just three chipsets. Okay, this is the CPU, basically the CPU socket. Here, basically, this is the GMCH or the MCH plus the graphic card, as you can see. Okay, so the graphic card is integrated with this chipset. And here, we have the ICH. So, the ICH is the responsible for all ports of the motherboards. Okay? So, as you can see, here we have the North Bridge. Okay? So the node bridge connected to RAM slots and then connected to NVIDIA to the graphic card. The graphic card connected to these ports and then we have the ICH. So the ICH or the sword bridge is a very important chipset. It controls all ports in the motherboard, including, as you can see, HDD port. STR port, as you can see, this is the hard disk drive port, the CD-ROM port, the mini USB Bluetooth, the USB 4 port, the camera port, as you can see, all these ports. Also, it is connected to the keyboard controller, to the BIOS, touchpad, the LAN, the RG45 port, the 1394 port. It is connected also to, to the codec, to the audio control IC and so on. So if you have any problem with this IC or to these chipsets, you can get many ports failed. Okay? So if you have in your motherboard many ports are not working means automatically you have problem with this ICH or with these chipsets. Okay? So basically this kind of motherboard has a separate chipset, the CPU, the North Bridge, the South Bridge, and we have the graphic card. And of course, here we have the clock generator. The clock generator I see, you can find it in page 3. It is always near to the CPU. This clock generator gives the synchronization or the timing for the whole motherboard. So without this IC, the motherboard cannot work properly. Okay. So let's see another schematic. So here, basically, as you can see, we have another block diagram. For this kind of block diagram, as you can see, we have the CPU here, Intel CPU. Okay. And the North Bridge is integrated with the CPU. Why? Because, as you can see, we have the memory slots are connected to these chipsets. Okay? And we know that the, the controller of the memory is, is the North Bridge. Okay? That's why the North Bridge is integrated here with the CPU. Okay? So here we have the CPU with the North Bridge. And over here, we have the PCH, or the Platform Control Hub. Okay, Platform Control Hub. So here, we have the graphic card with the ICH. As you can see, this chipset is connected directly to CRT, to LCD connector, and to HDMI. means we have the graphic card here. Okay, so here we have the CPU with the North Bridge, and here we have the ICH with the graphic card. Okay, and then as you can see, the, the ICH is connected to all these parts. Okay, so in this part we have the graphic card connected to this port, to LCD and HDMI port and CRT, and also we have the ICH that is connected to all ports of the motherboard, including, as you can see, as I told you before, the mini card port, the RG45, the HD audio codec, the amplification of our speaker ports, the modding ports, we have RG11, the HDD port, 
the ODD ports we have here HDD means hard disk drive and here ODD means optical disk drive and also we have the keyboard controller this is basically the super IO okay this is the keyboard controller or super IO you can find it in this page 39 and then of course we have the keyboard control is connected to this ICs to the thermal sensor touchpad to the keyboard and to flash ROM or to the BIOS okay so if you have pro for example a problem with your touchpad or your keyboard you should check the touchpad or the, or the keyboard connector and also check the keyboard controller here as you can see we have USB as you can see here we have USB time 4 means 4 USB connectors okay connected also to the ICH 4 USB connectors so as I told you before you can find this kind of motherboard you can find a dual core motherboard for example where we have separated chipsets this is basically the basic motherboard that every te technician or engineer should understand and know okay and also we have this kind of motherboard where we have also the chipsets are separated but here we don't have the graphic card separated we have the graphic card integrated with the north bridge and the improved memories are like this okay all chipsets or controllers are integrated in one chip as you can see we don't have any chip we have just one chip that contain these four chipsets the processor the mch the ich and the graphic card 